I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely spectacular 1964 Chevrolet Chevelle Malibu SS with a Swartz chassis that I've nicknamed the Raptor. To start off this uh, video here, if you have or have not uh, followed MS Classic Cars, um, I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. Please do your homework on who we are, what we've done, and the things that we've accomplished. We're very, very proud of everything. Um, we are proud also to say that we are the only classic car dealership in the country who services every vehicle we sell and we document the work with an invoice. So as an example, this particular Chevelle here that I'm sitting in has a brand new binder. All of the information I get from the people I buy these cars from, I put in methodical order in plastic sleeves. We include everything in here. The first thing that I always have in this binder is the invoice. So it's clearly documented. You can go on our website at msclassiccars.com. You can read our description. You can check out over 150 highly detailed photos and you will clearly see this invoice. I invested $20,298.87 into this car. Uh, we not only do mechanical work, but we also improve upon things cosmetically as well. So please do that. This is a non-rehearsed uh, video. I guarantee there's gonna be some things that I forget about this particular car. I do have a cheat sheet here with some information that I might reference. Uh, but once again, please visit our website just in case I miss some information. Now, starting uh, the presentation here on the history of this particular car. Um, in my description, I refer to this as a G machine. A G machine is a, a word basically for a pro touring car cars that people autocross and everything else. That's what this car was built for. This is a car uh, that still can be driven on the street. You can drive it to car shows. You can do everything that you normally do with any other car. The difference is you can take this car from the street to the track and be very competitive with it. So this vehicle here uh, was displayed at Detroit Autorama, which is World of Wheels in 2020. I have a plaque that is included with the car uh, that just clearly uh, documents that the car was shown there. That's a bigger, more prestigious show. Um, here's the cool thing about these vehicles. Um, this is not always the case with classic cars. So when this happens, uh, it's nice when you can reference it. I will start off by talking a little bit about what this car was born as. So I went to Chevelle Stuff, which is actually a great website here. This is all included. It's all picture within our description you could actually tell exactly what this car was born as based on its VIN number and based on its trim tag. The VIN number on this car obviously is the original VIN tag with spot welds or, or rivets, and it also has the same thing uh, on the firewall uh, with the trim tag. So first uh, digit in the VIN number of this car designates it to 1964. 
The second two digits were a 58, uh, designates that it's a Malibu Super Sport with an eight cylinder. Uh, the fourth uh, two digits, uh, fourth and fifth, 37 would be Sport Coupe. And then of course the six character digit, which is an L, uh, was Van Nuys, California. So it clearly demonstrates uh, here on all this paperwork exactly what it is. And with the trim tag, it even goes into detail as far as when the vehicle was built. This vehicle was built in October uh, on the fifth week. Um, that's all in here as well. And some of the other things that the trim tag goes over here is exactly what this car uh, had when it was uh, built at the factory. That was tinted glass, uh, four-speed transmission, comfort and convenience group, rear antenna, instrument panel pad, and seatbelt equipment. So again, this is really cool. This car actually left the factory with a silver exterior and a black trim interior. Um, so again, really cool that you can do that. Uh, this car uh, also has what's called the broadcast sheet. These uh, sheets actually separated. This was actually one sheet. Um, it clearly has the VIN number of the car on this. This is just a cool piece of information. Since this vehicle has been customized, it doesn't really mean a lot what the car was born as, just more of a cool factor than anything else. But again, that broadcast sheet, which is original to the car, is included. I also have the original owner's manual, and we also have the original protector uh, plan here, which is both in these uh, binders as well and, and so forth. So getting into the story of this car, this car was purchased uh, in 2012 by a gentleman uh, named Roy, uh, I'm sorry, Gary Royce, who lived in Michigan. He is a super, super nice guy. Um, he uh, had a lot of background with engineering. Um, he was very mechanically inclined and he found this car basically as a survivor type of car, a car that retained a lot of its original parts and pieces, which I will demonstrate as we go over uh, the vehicle in more detail. Um, he finished the restoration in around 2017. We do have pictures that we are including of the restoration. Um, so again, uh, very cool. But because this car was originally a California car, that's where it was built. That's where it's spent uh, its life prior to heading out to Michigan and now to Massachusetts. Um, it was the perfect candidate for a restoration. So the vehicle does retain all of its original sheet metal. Very cool. Uh, none of the sheet metal on this car had to be replaced. Um, it was a rust-free body. And this is why Gary actually chose this car to do a restoration on. And his vision of this build was to, again, build something uh, that still could be enjoyed on the street. He could take it to car shows. He obviously went to uh, Detroit Autorama, World of Wheels with it, um, had some fun with it uh, in his area locally. He never did actually track the car, never autocrossed the car but he built it, uh, so if he wanted to do that, he easily could take it from the street uh, to the track. So that was the vision of the build. Uh, no better car to start with than a car that has, um, you know, its original sheet metal, a car that was originally a super sport, and so forth. So now would be the time that I normally go over the exterior inside the vehicle, then I go over the interior, the trunk compartment, the engine compartment, and then the undercarriage. What I'm gonna do today is do it a little bit differently. I'm actually gonna get outside the vehicle, do a walk around presentation of the exterior, and then I'm gonna make my way into the engine bay and go over some of the details uh, with that as well. So why don't we go ahead and do that now, and then we'll get back into the car and I'll go over the interior, touch base about the trunk compartment, and also the undercarriage. Let's do it. So what we're gonna do uh, is I'm gonna do a really quick walk around presentation of this vehicle. Normally I do all of my videos from inside the vehicle, go over the story, the history, the exterior, interior, engine bay and undercarriage. But I just thought we would do something a little bit different. So what I'd like to do is first um, start off by looking at the grill uh, in the headlights of this particular car here. Um, you can see, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the fit and finish of this car is phenomenal. Um, it retains all of its original sheet metal. Uh, so once again, when you look at the front grille, we, when the car came into our service department, wanted to just give the front end a little bit of a modern custom touch. So we added these headlights here. These are actually custom headlights. They're LEDs and they have daytime running lights. What I'm gonna do is demonstrate those lights for you now so you can actually see 
what they look like. We just thought that added a lot of character to the front of the car. So you got these black inserts here, which look really trick. Obviously this is all exposed for the radiator, but these LED lights really put the icing on the cake. That also got your parking lights down in the bumpers as well. Again, everything on the exterior of this car is exactly the way that it came from the factory with exceptions of those headlights, obviously the wheels and a few other things I'm gonna point out to you. So I'll go ahead and turn those off. As I mentioned before, uh, the hood open and closes beautifully. When we make our way around um, the front of the car from the passenger side, I'm gonna open up the hood, show you how nice it opens and go over some of the appointments under the engine compartment. But making our way over to the side of the car, you'll notice because this car has all original sheet metal, the gap lines are actually super, super nice throughout. This was a very original car as I stated earlier, so it has a lot of original parts. A lot of the stainless trim and everything's original, so it fits around uh, the metalwork beautifully. Uh, this was actually restored. Uh, it's not reproduction parts, um, but let's talk about these wheels quick. So first thing that we did uh, with this car, again, it has a Swartz chassis uh, underneath it, so we wanted to give it the perfect rake, which I think the guys in the service department really accomplished. Uh, obviously, you got your Chevelle emblem here on the front. You got your little cross flag emblem here on the lower portion of the driver's side front fender. And these wheels, for anybody who doesn't know Rushforth, uh, it's Jason Rushforth. We've had some cars over the years that have had his wheels. These are custom built multi-piece wheels. They fit this car like a glove. You can see the six piston wheel with brakes uh, in the background. Uh, those are great brakes. Uh, these wheels here are in phenomenal condition. This is kind of a black uh, color here. It's more of a satin black. It's got the custom uh, center cap, the Ring Brothers, or I'm sorry, the Rushforth uh, design. This car's got tons of Ring Brothers parts too. But anyway, this is the Rushforth uh, center cap. Uh, so we got the polished lip here, and these are Nitto. Um, these are NT01 tires, super sticky tires here. Um, but I think it fits and works super well with the car. Again, paying attention to the gaps on this car, when you look at all the gap lines here, these doors, they open and close absolutely beautifully. What we did at MS Classic Cars, uh, we took the original uh, vent windows here in the trim and we actually painted it satin black. We did that for a couple reasons. Number one, when we went to buff it all out, uh, which we did to all the stainless steel. It didn't come out as nice as we wanted. So we figured if we painted it, not only would it match the wheels, but when you actually roll up the windows, it gives it a different look from a side visual. Uh, so this back window here, you'll notice we painted this as well. So if I roll up this window and all these windows, by the way, roll up really nice. I will mention these windows are all factory tinted. The front windshield um, and the side glass and everything is factory tinted glass. So it really gives it almost a wide open look, which is the killer part of the design of these 64 Chevelles. Um, so I thought that was a great idea that we came up with in service. So I'll go ahead and roll these back down here. Again, the body on this car is really, really straight. It's got great gap lines. It's got beautiful paint. This is actually, 2017 Dodge Ram 1500 Agricultural Red is what they refer to it as. Um, we did give this car a very light wet sand. When we put it through our detail process, we compounded it, we buffed it, we waxed it. I think it looks absolutely killer. It's not perfect, um, but it is show quality. And again, it's something that looks super on this body. Of course, we got these brushed moldings that run all the way down the side of the car which really accent the body. The quarters are stunning in here. Again, when you're dealing with a car that has all of its original sheet metal, you just get that real factory look. Of course, all of the fender trim is in beautiful condition. And then these wheels in the back obviously match the front. Something really cool that we did, because the rear axle in this car um, is a very unique rear axle, Everything was exposed, uh, so it's more of a racing style axle. I didn't like how this was open, so the service department actually fabricated a center cap uh, like the front wheel, and then we actually copied uh, the Rushforth emblem here, and we custom made this. 
So it actually looks like it was supposed to be there. Uh, again, the guy's knocked out of the park. These are 18 by nine and a half in the back and they're 18 by eight in the front. Again, same type of tire. These tires of the Nitto uh, NT01s, which are super sticky. These are just awesome tires. So again, you got the Malibu SS in the back here. Again, this car was born a Chevelle Malibu SS, which is in the VIN number of the car. Love how this molding wraps around the body, uh, especially in the back. And you got these beautiful chrome bumpers. Of course, the Chevrolet emblem on the deck lid here. Everything back here is beautiful. But when you step back and look at this car, this antenna was actually ordered with this car when it was new. That's on the trim tag on the cowl. Uh, this again, this little SS emblem here, if you just really spend a minute and look at how beautifully done the back of this car is. Even the emblem that's snuck in here just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, again, this car is in beautiful condition. Once again, it does have a couple of little tiny, tiny imperfections. I refer to them maybe as a fisheye here or there, but nothing that's gonna really bother anybody. Again, all original stainless trim, original glass. Again, brush molding on the side is beautiful. Again, those rush forth wheels look absolutely killer. Look at, again, these gap lines on this door. No protruding at the bottom. Look at this. Open and close beautifully. Again, we painted these vents like I demonstrated on the driver's side, the same one with the window in the back. These windows roll up and down beautifully. New door handles. Of course, we got the MS Classic Cars sticker on the corner of the windshield. Uh, we got the same emblem that was on the Driver's side there, cross flags, and of course we got the Chevelle in them here as well. So once again, this is a beautiful car. Very hard to find these cars in this condition, but it gets better when I open the hood. So as I mentioned earlier, I was gonna demonstrate how easily this hood opens and closes. Look at this. It just opens and closes so nicely. This is obviously a metal hood. So what we did is we painted the back side of this hood when we got the car. Wanted to make sure that we kind of brought out some of the quality. But what I would like to do is just spend a minute and kind of go over this amazing engine bay in this car. Starting with the firewall, uh, and you'll notice on the top of the cowl, we have those really nice bolts that are up there. A lot of this we ordered from Ring Brothers. Earlier I had mentioned Ring Brothers when I said the emblem on the wheel and I had said we had Ring Brothers parts. Well, a lot of these bolts here are Ring Brother bolts. We did that just to kind of bring the engine bay to life a little bit. Uh, those are Ring Brothers hinges as well. We ordered these through the service department. You know, as my invoice documents, we invested over $20,000 in this car, but these hinges here are awesome. They just fit this car perfectly. The firewall has been completely smoothed. We repainted that at MS Classic Cars. We also kind of touched up the inner fenders. We touched up this radiator support. Uh, again, Mike Marcello, who's the service manager, Wayne Arnold, who is the mechanic that worked in this car, did a phenomenal job. Now, the engine in this car. For anybody who knows engines, uh, small blocks, this is a Blueprint 383 stroker motor. These car, uh, motors come with their own part number. They come with their own reference number, which we've got laid out in our description. Uh, so again, we dressed this motor with some nice accessories. Uh, we do have a dyno sheet with this motor. Um, I'll get into those details uh, in a little while uh, so you can have the exact uh, dyno readings. Um, but this has got a Edelbrock Performer intake. We did put ARP bolts on here when we had it in the service department. We created these beautiful uh, braided and stainless fuel lines, AN fittings and so forth. We also put a brand new street brawler carburetor on here. 650 CFM is what it is. Of course, the icing on the cake to that carburetor is this beautiful Style Track Billet Specialties air cleaner. If you price one of these out, just the air cleaner alone is like a $1,000 bill. We even put this air cleaner wing nut on here that has a Chevrolet emblem that matches the color of the paint. Thought that was a great idea. We did add new valve covers. Those are aluminum valve covers that have a chrome finish. We even got breathers um, that were somewhat close because we wanted to make a combination of both chrome and billet uh, and follow the theme of the car. So we didn't want to go too much with one or the other. I thought the guys did a great job with that. Again, we have all these really nice wire separators. We did that at MS Classic Cars. These are Taylor black wires. 
Even this uh, dipstick down here is billet. They did a beautiful job with that. You can clearly see the custom made headers. Again, the attention to detail. This component here is part of the Swartz chassis that this car has. Again, you can see how nicely uh, the original style GM hoses are laid out in this car. We have billet separators on here. Um, again, just start studying this engine compartment in our pictures that we provide or this video, and you will see the attention to detail is second to none. Uh, we've got this really nice CNC dual master cylinder. This is a hydro boost uh, braking system. The name of it's actually HydroTech. You can see that there on the uh, bracket that is against the firewall. And then this whole system here, which we added MS Classic Cars, this is a whole uh, front runner, I believe it's eight track uh, pulley system. Uh, this is actually called the Raptor. And that's with the W. That's how I got the nickname of the car, uh, actually was based on the serpentine system. Of course, you got a chrome alternator. This car's got a high uh, performance mini starter. Um, again, we got this really nice custom made radiator for this car with a very high output, high performance fan to keep the engine cool. We had to do some fab work in here to make all of this work. This custom piece right here fits really nice. And to put the icing on the cake with this engine compartment, Wayne Arnold, one of the guys that works for us again in the service department, he modified all of this. He actually made all of this and fabricated it, made it done a beautiful, beautiful job here. This has actually got, you'll see these words here, PSC. This is all part of the power steering uh, system in this car. So all of this stuff here was fabbed. It was done so tastefully. Again, I tip my hats to the guys in service. This is really set up for autocrossing. Has a lot to do with your steering. Well, th again, this is uh, like a real serious road race car. Uh, that's what it was designed to be. Uh, so again, you got your billet overfill canister for the radiator. You got power steering components. You got more power steering components over here. I just wanted to point out some of the detail in this engine bay. Once again, because we did a lot of this work at MS Classic Cars, we finished it off. It's super, uh, super cool and something I'm really proud of. So let's get back to the inside. Well, now that we went over the exterior and we went over the engine uh, compartment, let's actually go over this interior. So the great thing about this interior is everything is in like new condition. Uh, we'll start with the headliner. The headliner is brand new. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, we did not have to do anything with the headliner at MS Classic Cars. Uh, the sun visors are in beautiful condition. We did actually put new sun visor um, holders here. They're kind of a chrome piece. It does have a brand new uh, rear view mirror, which looks really nice. The entire top of the dash is in beautiful condition. Uh, we did do a little bit of cosmetic work when the car went through our service department. These uh, Malibu SS's come with a very unique style uh, dash. There's a lot of bright work here, which is uh, correct of that error. It just looks really cool. You kind of know you're sitting in a muscle car when you're sitting behind the wheel of this car. It has all of its original style black gauges. All of the gauges in this vehicle are in working order. Uh, one of the things that Gary had done when he restored the car is he actually had the factory uh, RPM gauge, TAC, whatever you want to refer to it as, sent to TAC man who actually does um, restorations of these gauges. It's more of a modern gauge, but it looks very similar to the factory gauge. Great job with that. He also upgraded the sound system. It's kind of a classic auto sound system. We actually added a brand new dual voice uh, speaker to this car, so it's got a nice uh, radio, nice sound system. It does have working uh, heat as well. Um, it does have an I did it uh, tilt steering column. That's a big name in the tilt steering column uh, world. Uh, again, he went with black to kind of match the rest of the interior. Uh, it's got some custom levers here as well for the tilt wheel and also for the directionals and so forth. The car had a uh, different steering wheel in it when we got it. Um, I just chose to go with this uh, profile style steering wheel here. If I reference my notes, I can actually tell you exactly what it is. It's a 14 inch Billet Specialties Formula steering wheel, which I thought looked really cool. We brought out 
the black in this horn uh, button here. Some of these little appointments in the horn button match the interior. Then of course the part uh, of the steering wheel that surrounds the horn matches the rest of the interior. So I think the guys in the service department knocked it out of the ballpark with this steering wheel. It fits this car perfectly. Um, another thing that we did at MS Classic Cars is we put on new pedals. Um, they're billet specialty pedals. It really adds a little bit of character to the interior, especially when your eyes kind of go more down to the carpet area. While we're talking about the carpet, all the carpet was replaced brand new. During the restoration, we went out and put in these brand new uh, floor mats that say Chevelle on them. They fit like a glove. Um, they look really, really sharp. Um, from my research and my information, uh, it appears that these door panels are original. I never did confirm that with Gary or not, but they are in super, super nice condition. Um, I would say the same thing about the back seat. To me, it looks like it's original. Maybe he had them slightly restored, uh, but they're in absolutely beautiful condition. All of the vent uh, cranks, door handles, uh, window, uh, window rollers, and so forth, everything is brand new. Um, the center console is the original Super Sport console that this car came with. We took the console out. We actually painted it black. It's kind of like a flat satin black, and then it's all outlined with chrome trim. When you look at our photos of the car or watch the interior clips of this uh, video here, I think you will clearly agree that the center console looks awesome. It definitely looks a little bit more retro. We also um, added this really uh, sweet custom-made um, shifter here. We actually did that at MS Classic Cars. We had that fabricated, beautiful job. It's in perfect arm's length when you're sitting in the seat. It has this black uh, Hurst shift knob in it as well. That looks really awesome. And really the icing on the cake to the interior, um, it did have the original style seats that match the back seat. So we were very selective with what seats we wanted. Um, sometimes these cars, because they are a smaller version of the bigger Chevelles, um, they can get a little bit tight in the interior. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a little bit more room, a little bit more travel with the seat tracks, and we added these brand new pro car seats. Um, it does have seat belts, which are modernized as well, uh, and I think they fit the car perfectly. We even went with the same pattern in the stitching as the back seat, so they somewhat would match. Um, and again, these bolsters that are in these seats are excellent if somebody did decide Decide to take this car on an autocross track, it really keeps you nice and tight in the seat. So that's pretty much my presentation of this interior. It is in absolutely beautiful condition. I think the guys in the service department knocked it out of the park. We did a lot of fine detail work. Again, you got to visit our website. You got to check out that invoice of what we did to this car. It's all fully documented. Getting into the trunk compartment, uh, the trunk compartment was all finished in the correct style spatter uh, spray paint that they use uh, like they did back in the day. It does have a trunk mat back there as well. That's pretty basic. The only thing that was really customized in the trunk compartment was the Optima Red Top battery was relocated back there. Um, I believe he used 01 um, uh, as far as the cables concerned, heavy duty cable. Um, and again, it has a power cutoff. So the vehicles in storage, you can actually cut the battery off and so forth. Talking about the engine compartment, I did go over that, obviously, when I did the exterior of the vehicle, so I pointed out everything. I did tell you when I was underneath the engine compartment um, that I was going to reference the horsepower in this car. One thing I want to mention quickly regarding the horsepower and how I had mentioned earlier about Blueprint engines, this is the package that you get from Blueprint. It clearly, uh, you know, is very documented on what they do. Again, this is the part number I mentioned earlier. This is the serial number of this particular engine. And again, the dyno sheets, everything is included in here. Everything is pictured within our description. This motor dynoed at 439 horsepower with 466 pounds of torque. This is a sweet little motor. If you don't know much about Blueprint, get on their website, check them out. Again, we dress the engine with a lot of components that I mentioned earlier. I'm just reading through my notes to see if I missed anything. I think I pretty much covered it all. Um, the radiator that I mentioned earlier is a Saldana dual pass aluminum radiator. Um, I mentioned some of the high output fan, the coolant reservoir. I mentioned the fact that it does have ceramic headers. Those were custom made, by the way. Those were not ordered out of a catalog. They were custom made. That header connects to a two and a half inch custom made exhaust system. Because this car has a Swartz chassis, 
uh, which is a very high performance chassis. It's a great road chassis. Um, it improves everything about the car, the characteristics of the car and how it rides, how it handles, how it performs. That exhaust system had to be all fabricated around that Swartz chassis. Um, this car does have a Auto Gear, which is the name of the company who builds them. It's an M23. So you always hear M21, M22, rock crushers and so forth. This is an M23 transmission that is brand new, out of a box. So you have a brand new motor, brand new transmission. Um, it does have a quick time bell housing. Uh, these are all big names uh, in the performance uh, world. McCloyd uh, clutch, high pressure plate, and it has a Dyno Tech drive shaft. So he really spared no expense when he built this car. Uh, anybody who spends 15, 20,000, 25,000 on a chassis, you could only imagine uh, how they do the rest of the car. Um, the power is transferred to the pavement through a new, again, this is a new Speedway Engineering NASCAR 4.9 inch floater rear end with aluminum carrier, 3.64 gears, and True Track Gleason drive. So again, add up the cost between the motor, the transmission, the rear end, and it's a boatload of money that he invested. Um, again, I mentioned earlier about the HydroBoost system that works in conjunction with the rack and pinion power steering. It's a PSC system. The PSC canisters were attached to the fabricated panels I mentioned earlier. The undercarriage of this car is highly detailed. You can see it in the video. You can see it on our website at MS Classic Cars. Um, a lot of the floors and everything were sprayed with black uh, epoxy for durability. The Swartz chassis was powder coated black. Um, it's equipped with fully adjustable suspension, cross corner weights uh, consisting of QA1 springs that we added to MS Classic Cars. It's got coilover shocks from JEGS. The suspension was modified uh, for zero bump steer. It's equipped again with the HydroTech HydroBoost fully adjustable CNC dual master cylinders. As I mentioned when I was doing my exterior walk around presentation, it does have Willwood four wheel disc brakes. There's six piston radial mounted calipers in the front with 13 inch rotors, and it has Willwood four piston conventional mounted uh, calipers with 12 inch rotors on the rear. So again, this car has got everything. It even has a Rick's tank, stainless custom made fuel tank in the back that looks so beautiful the way they designed it. I think that tank is like 1,500, 2,000 just for the tank. So if you go through all of the parts, all the components, and go through what this car would actually cost to buy as a rolling project, you can only imagine the money that was invested in this car. So once again, super proud of it. We really appreciate your interest in this vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and listen, listen how beautiful it runs. Before I do that, um, if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please make sure you do that at msclassiccars.com. If you have not uh, followed us on social media, we please ask that you do that. We're on all the social media networks, including YouTube. So please make sure to subscribe to everything and like us on Facebook, etc. Now, last thing I'm gonna do here uh, when I start this car, this is a cold start. I have not started this car in probably four or five days since we pulled it onto the pad. We had a bunch of things going on. Uh, so today, um, it will be the first time that I've started this car. I wanted you to hear it start cold. So I am gonna go ahead and pump the gas pedal a few times here. Turn the key, let you listen to it fire up and run. Uh, all the vehicles at MS Classic Cars have been completely dialed in. We're very proud of that. So the new owner has nothing to worry about except getting in the vehicle and clearly enjoying it. So once again, appreciate you watching. Here we go. Fires right up. Listen to it. Hey, my foot's off the gas pedal right now. Hands off. Got 439 horsepower motor sitting under the engine comp compartment there. And listen to this thing purr. It sounds absolutely amazing. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>